Hello Toy Collector fans, Universal Toy Collector here and welcome to the channel. Join me as I go through the Black Series Lucasfilm 50th Anniversary Wave. Okay, so kicking us off then, we have the Archive Collection. Uh, this coming in a set of four with Grand Admiral Thrawn, Luke Skywalker Hoth, Clone Commander Cody, and Han Solo Hoth. Now the Luke, the Han, and the Grand Admiral Thrawn all have the new photo reel faces. So these were figures that I missed out on in the original run of the Black Series. So pretty delighted to have these in my collection. Um, because these are 50th anniversary figures these will be staying on the cards um i as the cards go they're, they're pretty bland aren't they there's nothing too spectacular about them just move him to the forefront there so you've got the figure here 50th logo in the top corner there star wars the black series archive down the back hasbro in the little corner there and then the name down the side there and then on the back you have like a little bio, another picture of Han, or depending on what figure you've got. And then you've got the Lucasfilm timeline there. So again, nothing too spectacular about these cards. The the great figures, I, I, I mean, I like them anyway. Um, will I get another set to open up? <sighs> very, very doubtful at this moment in time. Never say never. But yeah, that's the first lot and the first four in this Lucasfilm 50th. Okay, so in the second set of the Archive Collection, we have basically troop builders. Whereas the first set, you had more personalised characters with Han, Luke, Thrawn and Cody. You now have an Imperial Death Trooper. You have a Tuscan Raider. You have a Shore Trooper. And you have an Imperial hover tank driver again you can army build these so that's uh, you know that's that's fairly decent again i can't understand why they put these on an archive card but there you go i mean we've had quite a few of these guys released in uh on different card backs so i mean these are apart from the tuscan raider again relatively new relatively new relatively new to the lines and to the Star Wars franchise. But again, uh, these are great figures. I have the Tusken Raider in, um, on this Star Wars 40th anniversary card back. Again, I will be keeping these on card as they are 50th anniversary. I won't be getting these, well, I, I can definitely won't be getting these guys, multiples of these to, to open up. So I'll just keep these as they are. I know they're army builders, but I don't really army build six inch as I don't have the room for it. I mean, if it's three and three quarter, then yeah, I'd, I'd do that. But but yeah, again, you know, fairly decent figures. I, I don't mind these. Um, yeah, I mean, again, not too much more I can say about the cards. Again, they're relatively new, the archive wave. But uh, yeah, uh, that's it again. Not much to say about these, so uh, I'll move these on and then get in the, uh, the next lot. Two seconds. Okay, so this is where the cards start getting a lot more interesting. Um, as you can see, this is the uh, the Star Wars, the Power of the Force um, wave. Uh, a real throwback to the uh, mid-90s when Star Wars come back onto the shelves again, back in stores. At the time, the figures weren't great, but what they've done here for the Black Series, I think is absolutely brilliant. So you've got Luke, Greedo, Han Solo. Uh, the Luke and the Han, they've got the photo real faces, so they're a lot better than the original versions that were released. Again, these are figures that I personally missed out on in the Black Series. I won't be opening the Greedo, 
I keep them on the card. This one I will keep on the card. This one's got a dink on it, so I will be opening him. And then um, I've got another one coming anyway, which I was going to originally open. But yeah, these cards are great. So you've got the 50th anniversary logo in the top. Star Wars, the power of the force. And then you've got the photo and the name there. And then if I just turn him around. You, oh, let's move him back a bit. There you go. So you've got the info there. And then you've got the Lucasfilm timeline there. These are great. I really do like these. Like I said, the cards are a throwback. They're going to start getting a lot more interesting now. So, yeah. Um, not too much more I can say on these. Um, yeah, I, I like them. <laughs> um, great figures and great card backs. So give us a couple of seconds and I will get the next lot in. So when I say the next lot, I mean the next one. So again, this is Star Wars Power of the Force, but this time it's on the green card back. This was the only figure they put on this card back. Again, a real throwback to the, um, well, this was probably late 90s when, when this uh, figure came out. As you can see, the figure sculpt isn't too bad. Quite like that photo real face. We've just recently got this figure in the Black Series uh, standard line. So again, you've got the 50th logo there, Star Wars The Power of the Force. Uh, the picture of Princess Leia there, the name, Princess Leia Organa, you have him four. Turn it around, and the, the back is pretty much the same with the name pill there, the name of the line, all the info, and the 50th anniversary uh, timeline. Again, this one will be staying on the card. The cards are great, I mean, they're quite thick, thick card stock, which is good, and they've got a kind of a, a sheen to them, which is which is nice. So I do have plans for these figures. Um, I'm hoping at some point to get acrylic cases to put them in so I can display them without worrying of them getting damaged and stuff like that. But yeah, really happy with this figure. And uh, like I say, recently I, I did get this in the, uh, in the uh, standard Black Series line, which I've opened and displayed. So give us a couple of seconds and I shall get the next ones in. Okay, so the next figures we have on card backs, these are the Phantom Menace um, card backs. Again, these look absolutely great. They've got that sheen to them, that kind of like a metallic sheen to them, which, uh, which I like. So in this wave, you get Jar Jar Binks, Qui-Gon Jinn, a Battle Droid, and Mace Windu. Now, uh, these, these are great. I absolutely love these. Um... Yeah, brilliant cards. Really, really like the the original three and three quarter Phantom Menace line. Um, yeah, Jar Jar at the time he he also came out in a deluxe in a deluxe set in the Black Series. But as far as the Battle Droid Mace and um, Qui Gon go, it's the first time I've I've had these um, in the Black Series. Again, these will all be staying on the cards. So what we've got here, if I just Bring Jar Jar to the front there. Pretty much like all the other cards. You've got the Star Wars Episode 1 logo there. A picture and the name there, Jar Jar Binks. Lucasfilm. Anniversary thing there. Underneath you've got, well this is goldy yellow. But on the original card back three and three quarters you would have yellow, orange. And that would indicate what wave uh, these guys have come out with so as you can see mace window here uh, mace window mace window he's got like a a reddish color so i think um wave one was yellow wave two was orange and i think wave three was uh red so you've got all the the bump here and then you've got the 50th anniversary logo look logo a timeline so yeah they've got it's got like a metallic sheen to the cards which i really like these are fantastic we did two, have two other figures come out on um, cards like this, but they were for the Phantom Menace 20th anniversary. Um, I will probably show those in another video. But yeah, again, absolutely love these. Uh, you've got Photo Reel and Qui Gon, Mace Windu looking pretty decent, and the Battle Droid looking fairly decent as well. 
I've not opened any of the um, six inch battle droids, so I don't know how they are. I don't know how sturdy they were or how sturdy they are. I know the three and three quarter ones in the, the vintage collection aren't great, very flimsy, very difficult to stand. So if these are like uh, the original version droids that we got in the Phantom Menace line, then these would be pretty, pretty sound. So if you could let us know what these guys are like to display and stand up out the package, uh, I'll be grateful. Um, I probably will be looking to get a few more battle droids, but that would just be in the standard line. Right, that's all I can say about these guys, apart from I think they're fantastic, they look great, great card backs. Give us a couple of seconds and I will get the next wave in. Okay, so what we have here is the George Lucas in Stormtrooper disguise. This was originally released in the uh, Saga collection, I do believe, uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Again, never had this figure in the uh, three and three quarter inch line, so really happy and pleased that I've got, got him in this line. So again, you've got the 50th logo there. It's on the Star Wars card back, the name pill, and then the figure, and then a picture of a Stormtrooper there. I, I think these card backs are great, a real throwback. And then on the back, we've got a picture of George there, information there, and the Star Wars timeline there. It's such a shame this is the only um, version they did of George. They also did a um, an X-Wing pilot uh, with George in the three and three quarter. It would have been absolutely bloody marvellous if they'd have done the same for the 50th. I'm, I'm, I'm really like, well, I'd say disappointed, a bit gutted really, they, they didn't do that. I think he would have been great. But yeah, you've got the Kenner, Kenner logo there. So unfortunately, um, they didn't do the Luke, uh, the Luke, uh, the George Lucas in the um, X-Wing pilot outfit. I think that would have complemented this really well and it would have, for me, completed a set, but, but there you are. So yeah, give us a couple of seconds and I shall get the next wave in. Now these have to be possibly my favourite out of the whole 50th anniversary wave. What we've got is Obi-Wan Kenobi and the Jawa and they are in their original look as they were when Star Wars uh, toy line first came, came out. So they've got the original look of the 1977 Kenner figures. I'm sure I had a Greedo to go with this set as well. I, I've looked everywhere. I can't seem to find him. I, I, I'm sure there was a Greedo in this line as well. Um, again, correct me if I'm wrong. But um, yeah, these are absolutely great. I absolutely love these. These are, these are my favourite. So it, it's a real throwback to how the figures looked back in the 70s where, when Star Wars first came out on the scene. So you've got the double racetrack there with the Star Wars um, font and the Star Wars written there. Lucasfilm in the corner there, 50th anniversary. You've got the lightsaber with Luke and Leia there. Is that Leia there as well? Yep, I've got my glasses, bloody hell. Then you've got um, Ben there and the figure packed here with the Kenner logo down the bottom there. So again, if you turn it round, you've got a picture of Ben and Darth on the Death Star, and then the 50th Lucasfilm logo. But yeah, absolutely love these. These are great. Again, staying on the cards, and when I get the um, acrylic cases to put them in, these will be put out on display. And again, the Jawa, you've got the cloth cape there. It would have been fantastic if they'd have, um, done the vinyl cape. I mean, you've got a vinyl cape here, which I just think looks absolutely, absolutely brilliant. These are great. I can't can't talk these up enough. Um, I do have more figures like this in this style, but they are from the um, Empire Strikes Back and the Star Wars uh, 40th uh, line. They're exclusives. Again, these will be shown in a different video. But yeah, I, I can't praise these enough. I think Hasbro have done a fantastic job with these and I would love, love to have seen more figures like this um, in the line but unfortunately I think it was just the three like I said I think the Greedo was in in this line as well but I, I can't seem to find him he's probably in a box somewhere that I've not looked in so 
Um, yeah, I'll, I'll have another look. But if anybody wants to let us know for definite, I'd like to hear in the comments. Right, give us a couple of seconds and I shall get the next lot. Okay, so what we have here are four figures from the Dave Filoni Clone Wars era. On the card backs that these guys came out on uh, when the figures were released. So you've got the Star Wars font here, the Clone Wars across the top there. You've got the figure here with the name, 50th logo there, and a picture there. And I shall use this guy, turn him round on the back. Star Wars The Clone Wars, Clone Pilot Hawk, and the uh, Lucasfilm timeline there. So in this wave you had Anakin Skywalker, Clone Pilot Hawk, Arc Trooper Echo, and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Again, I missed out on these figures in 3 3 quarter inch. I did see them in the shops, but I, I didn't really want to collect um, back then. And I thought, well, I, I wasn't too keen on the figures, if I'm honest. But now I wish to God I had collected the Clone Wars. I've got a few Clone Wars figures on the 3 and 3 quarter inch card backs. And um, I've got a few of them loose. I, I think they're great. They're great. I like what they've done with these. They've put the faces, um, they've made the face photo real so they look like proper human characters instead of animated, but they've got their animated look um, with, with, the, with the uniforms and, the, and the, the, the outfits that they wear. Again, Hasbro, they've done an absolute fantastic job with these and this, this 50th line is is absolutely tremendous in my opinion again the only ones that i wasn't too keen on card back wise were the the archive i think they're, they're they're pretty bland compared to what we've seen just recently but yeah absolutely super i mean these again will be staying on cards i will not be opening these <clears throat> will i get um another set of these to open again I, i'm not 100 percent sure um, we'll have to see how it goes like financially and space wise but yeah once again i can't talk these up enough i think they're absolutely brilliant really like these uh, card backs and really like the figures so give us a couple of seconds and i will get the next lot in okay so this is a figure i got just recently and i was talking to um brett from brett on fet and he pre-ordered this figure last year and he still hasn't received this figure that is absolutely horrendous how can that be possible you've got to wait a whole year for a figure it's not like it's a um a haslab project that you've got to wait a year for it's an action figure and he's still not received his uh uh droids boba fett that is that is remarkable that is Anyway, I've, I've totally uh, gone off the rails there. So, yeah, I got this the other day. Uh, again, one of my favourites. So you've got some great artwork there. Um, get my arms out of the way. You've got the droids uh, logo there, the Adventures of R2-D2 and C-3PO, the Lucasfilm logo there, Boba Fett. And if we open this up, look at that. That is absolutely tremendous. Let's see if you can see that properly. Yeah, I'll just bring it forward a little bit closer. There we go. That is absolutely awesome. What a great looking figure that is. Now, I, I said when I open these up, it's another Boba Fett. And then uh, a few people have kind of put me to rights and said, you can't have enough Boba Fetts. Well, that is absolutely true. Um, yeah, absolutely tremendous. Uh, again, the, the artwork on the inside there, you've got some information there. Just close that up. You got more artwork from the holiday special there. More artwork at the back with the Lucasfilm timeline. And you turn around and you've just got the droids logo there and name pill. Well, yeah, brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, uh, yeah, I, I just feel for those that have ordered this and pre-ordered this and they're still waiting. Really hoping that these... Uh, uh, they come through soon for you guys and yeah you, you people need to sort their shit out when it comes to shipping i mean you, you can't 
it's been over two years now since uh, we had COVID and everything went to shit. So you, you can't keep blaming uh, blaming things on COVID. Get your back together, get your deliveries out and get stuff to people that have paid their money and pre-ordered for stuff. Anyway, that's enough on that. Give us a couple of seconds and I'll get the next lot in. Okay, so these are figures again that I've recently just, um, <clears throat> excuse me, opened up. So these are from the Gengi Tartakovsky Clone Wars series. We have General Grievous, we have the Arc Trooper there, and then we have Mace Window. Mace Window, why am I keep saying Mace Window? It's not, it's Window. Mace Window, I do apologise. Again, absolutely fantastic figures. The card backs look tremendous. And again, I'm keeping these on the um, on the cards. No way am I going to open these. So we have the 50th logo here, Star Wars there. The Clone Wars across the side there, and then the name pill with the artwork there. I'll just bring it forward. And I don't know if you can see that. Okay, so you've got the artwork here of how we looked in the uh, Tartakovsky Clone Wars. Some gump there, and then the 50th logo with the Star Wars timeline there. Absolutely brilliant. These are, again, I, I can't speak highly enough of what Hasbro have done with these figures. That's the, that is the frustrating thing with Hasbro. They can do some absolute fantastic stuff. But then on the other hand, they can also do some complete and utter shite. And people are going, well, why have you done that? Uh, listen, I'm not moaning at these. I, you know, credit where credit's due. Hasbro have done a fantastic line with this 50th anniversary. Yes, I know a lot of them are repaints and uh, reissues. But you've got a photo real face there. Um, on um, on Mace Windu, um, and the, the 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 paint apps look absolutely brilliant, um, and the cards and it is the cards that, are, that have done it for me. Um, in all honesty, I, I do like the figures, but I think every single card, other than the um, archive collection cards, have, have just blown me away. And these are again absolutely brilliant. So. If you were thinking of getting figures for the 50th um, anniversary, Lucasfilm anniversary, highly recommended. I, you know, I, 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 I think they make a great addition to the collection for sure. I'm really pleased with what I've got, um, figure wise. Now, again, I think the only thing, well, I, I definitely know the only um, thing I'm missing for the 50th wave is the um, Cantina three pack with Dr. Everson. Ponda Barber and um, Obi Wan Kenobi, and that came in a box set with a bit of the bar from the from the Cantina from Star Wars. So I know I'm definitely missing that. I haven't pulled the trigger on that yet. Will I? <sighs> we'll see. Um, and the only other figure uh, figure that I'm 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 positive that they did was uh, Greedo in the on the original card back with the original look. I need to have a proper look empty my cupboards out and, and check every box I'm sure I had him but yeah that, other than that this is it so I'm I'm really happy with this wave really really happy with it I think the car backs are absolutely fantastic and again I'm repeating myself so I shall knock that on the head so other than that that is all I've got to say about this so other than thank you very much for watching if you are new to the channel please feel free to comment, like, and sus uh, subscribe. Hit that notification bell to let you know of more content. And as always, there will be more content. Again, thanks for watching. Stay safe and see you guys in the next video. Hi guys, wouldn't you know it? Absolutely typical, putting all the bits and bobs away and I've uh, come across the Greedo. So yes, I was correct. They did do a Greedo in this style. Look at this. Again, I, I absolutely love this line. This styling a card, that styling a figure. Very retro. Hasbro, again, done a fantastic job. Credit where credit's due. So this uh, figure uh, come along with um, Ben Kenobi and the, the, the Jawa. And they all have their 1977 Star Wars look uh, as far as action figures uh, go. Again... Absolutely brilliant. Love it. The card's fantastic. Uh, not too much I can say. 
But I just wanted to let you guys know that yes, there was a Greedo in this line. So that does mean the only 50th collection item that I do need to get will be the um, the cantina scene with Dr. Everson, Ponder Barber and Ben Kenobi. Will I get it? I don't know. It's 50-50 at the moment. But anyway, just to let you know that yes, this figure does exist. Again, thank you very much for watching and see you guys in the next video.